you. Slideshow. Okay, so we left off with, um, so Annie points at a large book, and she's like, hey, brother, don't you think you like this book a lot better? And the book is a book on dinosaurs. It kind of, cycle a picture encyclopedia. Um, can you read this line for me? Yep. Uh, Jack wa omo wazu, omo wazu, sore o hiroi ageta. Nice. Do you know what the zoo is doing right here? Zoo. Jack wa omo wazu. I don't. So zoo means without doing. So what does Jack not do? Uh, Omowa. Omowa is? Omo. Omoi. Mm -hmm. Omo. To think, Omo. kind of, I think. Yep, to think. So without thinking, Jack, um, Hiroi Agetas, Sore. What is Sore referring to? Sore. So the book, maybe? Yep, the book. So he. D what does he do to the book? Uh, hiroi ageta. So kind of hiroi. Wide open. I don't know what That's that means. That's a good guess. So y y this sounds a lot like the word. So hiro geru. I don't have the like, thingy on there even though I clicked it. Ah. Uh, hiro geru. Looks like this. Which does sound a lot like hiroi. Mm. But hiroi. From this here comes hiro. That's the what it is, which has this kan kanji, you know. So the kanji is a little bit different. Um, the most, Im like it's not the most, most important, but do you know what ageru means right here? Uh, it means to elevate or just yep. to bring up. Yep. So ageta means up in this context and hiroi means to pick up. It tends to be used like if something was on the ground and you picked it up, it's like you, or it's, it's now like in your possession momentarily is kind of what that tends to mean. So he, so without thinking, Jack picks up the dinosaur book. What does he notice about the book? Uh, aoi me no. So me no, no, because there's two no's. No, no, no. Yep. No, no, no. So this no is connected to shiori. I see. So shiori ga hasan de aru. Nice. Do you know what a shiori is? Shiori. Sounds very familiar. Shiori. We did see it earlier. Because it was hasan de aru within the page of the whole shirori. So a bookmark. Yep. What? What was the color of the bookmark? It was aoi, so it is blue. What was it made out of? Was it paper or cloth or wood or metal? So cloth, I think. Yep. It is cloth, so it has a blue cloth bookmark i would guess that this is one of those like ribbon bookmarks that are like attached to books maybe mm -hmm. that's that's what normally cost bookmarks are but i don't know for sure um so uh, do you know what hasande is doing over here Hasamu. hasande are... i don't hmm well we're talking about a shiori right what do you think this yep. bookmark is being used for? What is it doing right now, do you think? Just what, what do we use bookmarks it for? It is uh, to remember pages. Or it is used for that. Uh, I meant more just like, how do you use it to remember your pages? Which you take a bookmark and you put it inside of the book. Because hasan de aru means to be put in between. Do so you put it between two pages? And it just has aru because they're just kind of making it like it is 
there. So it's just saying there is Exists. a bookmark. Yeah. There's yeah. a bookmark in there. Um, do you know what temo means when it's like, for example, yondemoi? Yondemoi. So it's okay or like it doesn't matter? Yep. It's saying even if you call out, it's okay. It's daijoubu. Um, here's some vocabulary. I'm just going to ignore that for now. I don't know the context <laughs> anymore. Mm. And that's probably like I wonder normally. But it seems kind of random to be in there. Um, do you know what katteni means? Katteni? I don't. It means you do something just because you wanted to do it and you didn't think about other people. You just did it on your own. Katteni. So this is normally a negative thing. It's kind of rude. So if you like, for example, just got someone water and they're like, oh, thank you. I didn't even ask you. You would not use katani there. It's more like you broke into someone's house. You're like, hmm, I'm kind of, it's like, you know, like the story of um, Goldilocks with the, when she just breaks into the house and she tries all their food and sleeps in all their beds. That's her doing oh, yeah. <laughs> To just honor all be like, oh, what a nice house. Oh, I'm just going to eat all the food. So sometimes they'll translate it as selfishly. But we don't really use that mm. in English as like a word. But pretty common in Japanese for that to show up. Katani. And then wakaru. Do you know what that means? Wakaru. So I understand. Or at least yeah. Perfect. So right over here is noni. Noni goes in between two sentences. And it causes a contrastive meaning. So even though is a pretty easy way to translate it. So even though um, yakusoku shita, this happened. Um, can you read this sentence for me? Yakusoku shita no ni kare ha samasen deshita. Kare wa kimasen deshita. Do you know what um, kare wa kimasen means? Kare wa kimasen. I or don't. Kimasen deshita. Do you know kuru? Kuru, so to come. Yes. So kuru becomes kimas, which also means to come. And then kimasen is to not come. And kimasen deshita is did not come. So I probably should have said kare wa kona Kata would be how that would show up in this book, which is did not come short form. Kunakata. So he did not come, even though do you know what what yakusoku means? Yakusoku, so like promise. Yep. And in Japanese, promise tends to be used when you make an appointment with somebody, which is not how it's used in English. So uh, saying it's the promise time sounds very pretentious in English, but mm -hmm. um, it's not that pretentious in Japanese. So even though he said, I'll meet up with you or whatever, he never came. So that's how it kind of makes the contrastive meaning of, um, on the other hand, if you see no de, it's the opposite. It's saying because of this, this happened. So if it was yakusoku shita no de, kare wa kita or kimashita would be. Because I, he promised, he came. So the ni is really what's telling us that these are not related. So how do you think you would say, even though I tried? Your hint is gambareru is right over here. Even though I tried. So can I just say, gambaru no ni? Close. So this is saying even though I am, I will try. That's what that's saying. Which, which is a little weird because normally you're talking about something that's already happened. So you'd want it in ta form. So gambare mm -hmm. ni, just like how we have shita at the top. It's not that you couldn't use do here, but just in general, gambare um, do tends to be future tense 
or habitual. So I guess you say gambareru no ni would be like, but I try every day. You could, if you're having that kind of connotation you wanted to convey. Yeah. Boop. Okay. So a thing that we can also do is envelop questions inside of Japanese. So ka shows up at the end of questions. However, this is not at the end of the sentence. It's over here. And the sentence is continuing. Do you know what this verb right here means? Oh, karanai. So I don't know. Yes, I don't know. So the thing he doesn't know can be a statement like I it can be a statement. But over here, the thing he doesn't know is a question, which um, has a question word as well. Do you know what itsu means? Itsu means what? Yes. So this is itsu bakemono ga kuru ka wakaramai, which is I do not know when the monster will come. So the embedded question is when the monster will come? When will the monster come? And then he went, I don't know. So I would like you to make the sentence, I don't know whose books these are. So the embedded question is, whose books are these? So we have Garu, Dare, and Hon. Yep. I don't know whose books they are. So... Mm -hmm. Dare no hon. Dare no hon. Whose book? Dare no hon desu ka? Which kind of doesn't make sense. Dare yeah. No hon desu ka? Close. Wakaranai. So you actually don't really need the verb here. You could just say dare no hon ka wakaranai. Or dare no hon daka. Sounds a little weird. So since there's no um, verb here, uh, it just would be dari no hon ka wakaranai. That's how it would be. So watashi wa dari no hon ka wakaranai. So death um, isn't really a verb, but a lot of times it'll be treated as a verb. It's basically something that just gets attached to nouns and stuff like hon so that we can pretend it's a verb. So that's why sometimes we'll see it and sometimes we don't. So we don't really need this here for whatever reason. So dare no hon ka wakaranai. So I do not know whose book it is. Um, okay, here's the sentence for you to read. Um, dakedo katte ni yonde mo ii. Perfect. You can now read this kanji. <laughs> yep. So I will start with Dakedo Kateni yon demo yi no kana. You know what kana means? Kana. Um, kana. It's like kind of. Well, not really. Yeah. Kind of. Kind of. Kind of is kind of true. Um, I feel like I wonder tends to work better, but it is like kind of is is what it means. It can it just adds vagueness to what you're thinking because you're wondering something. So is it kind yeah. of yondemoi? But I think I I wonder tends to work better when translating. You know what dakedo means? Dakedo um sounds familiar, but I don't know it. It basically means like but or however. Mm, yeah. It's a little bit closer to however than but because it has a da. If it's just like uh kedo, that tends to be a little bit closer to but. So dakedo, however, katte ni yondemo i. What does that mean? Katte ni yondemo i. So yondemo i. So mm -mm -mm. Very familiar. Mm -hmm. Let's start with katteni. Which is like selfishly, right? Yep. So selfishly, hono yomu desu ne. 
Mm -hmm. You told me earlier what Yon Demo means when I was at this page where I had te form plus mo with yon demo i. Yon demo i. So it's like a word that I know, but can't really translate at times. Yep. Doesn't matter kind of word. Um, yeah, it doesn't, doesn't matter. It's pretty similar. It's saying even if reading occurred, is that that would be okay is what it means. So to the so 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 he's saying. However, um, because of the no kana, it changes it a meaning a little bit. If he just said yon demo i, means it is okay to read. However, it became I wonder, right here, right? That's what a kana means. I wonder. So we have that if here, because that's just how I wonder works. If I can selfishly just if selfishly reading this is okay. Yeah. Selfishly. Reading is okay. Mm -hmm. And now he's going, then we have no knee right here. Do you remember what no knee means? Even if. Yes. So what got dropped off over here is this part. Kate ni yondemo ii no kana. So theoretically, this, sent this sentence could be, Dare no hon ka wakaranai no ni yondemo ii no kana. That that sentence is like makes sense. So even so, dare no hon ka wakaranai. What does that mean? Dare no hon ka wakaranai. All right. So this is whose book is this? I don't know. Exactly. So I we don't know who I I I was going to do we because he's talking to Annie at the same time. Uh, we don't really know whose books these belong to, so are we, can I even just read these? Like, is that okay? Tabun warui desho. Okay, so right over here we have some adjectives. We have omoshiroi, so, and daisuki. Do you have any idea how... We, how to make the sentence a book that looks interesting using all these pieces? A book that looks interesting. So, uh, I'll delete the key for you. <laughs> so, we have Hon, Omoshiroi, and Soul. Or, yep, oh, that's one way of doing it. Yep, hon wa omoshiro so desne. Great sentence. I was just looking for um, emotional so na hon, which is just taking that from a sentence into a relative clause or something, or just adjectives. So, in English, that means that this isn't actually a sentence. A book that looks interesting isn't a sentence in English, theoretically. A book that looks interesting. <laughs> it, like it, it's, not, it's, it's basically a sentence. English is, all languages are weird. Okay, we've got a bunch more vocabulary. What it, does this mean? Can you read it for me? Oshiro no hon. What does that mean? Oshiro. It's an oshiro, like behind, kind of. That's close. That's ushiro. Ushiro mm -hmm. sounds super similar, but this is a kanji for that. Ushiro. O shiro. The word is actually just shiro, and they just added o to it to be kind of polite. Like, for example, cha means tea, but ocha is what people normally say, or sake. Is more mm. common. Sake means alcohol, but people don't say, give me some sake. They say, give me some osake. Osake, yeah. Oh, to it. So that's what that is. That's kind of like a polite ish marker because shiro is kind of a cool thing. What do you think a of A castle. Shiro? Yes. So, a castle book. Oshiro no hon. Now, mm -hmm. right over here is a verb that you were thinking about earlier. Hiraku or hirogeru. Hiraku. What do you think this verb means? 
開く、広げる。いい、いい、いい。開く、開く、開く。That kanji looks similar. Is it like to open? Yes. Hiraku means to open. Do you know what hirogeru means? Ah. Hirogeru. Hirogeru. I, I, I. To also open. It does mean open when we're talking about a hon, but specifically it means to spread wide.、Mm. So. Definitely, if you're Hono Hiragiru, that,、uh, that definitely means to open up your book. So, both of Hono Hiraku and Hono Hirogiru both mean to open your book. Is they're just, this one right here is more metaphorical, and this one is more literal. Hiraku just means open,、yeah. open book versus spread the book wide. Another thing you can do from two books is Mekuru. What do you think that means? Mekuru. Mekuru. So, to just kind of go through, like turn really quickly. Specifically, it just means to turn pages. This is a very fast picture, though. So, to turn pages. Now, knowing that mekuru turns into mekurimas, what do you think the te form of this word is? Mekutte. Exactly, yep. Mekutte. Perfect. Boop. Okay, now you get to read the sentence. しかし、兄はもうお城の本の広げて楽しいそうにペンゾー、ペンゾー、ページ、ページ、あ、ページをめくっている。So our subject is Annie, and what did she do? Uh, uh. So, Skashi Aniwa Mo Oshiro no Hono Hiro. So, kind of, however, Ani、mm, Oshiro no. So, she turned the cover page, which was a castle. Hmm. So, this just says the, she, she spread wide the book of、um, the. Of the Of castles, the castle book. So, doesn't specifically mention if her opening the、um, title page or not. Basically, it just means that the book is wide open right now. That's all that's saying. However, she is mekuteing the page. So, what does that mean? She is mekuteing. Yep, she's, so she's opening or not opening, turning. She already opened. Yep, she's turning. Yep, she's turning the pages of the book that she has already opened up. So when you see te form and it kind of has like a comma after it, that is kind of telling you that this happened first, then the second thing happened.、Uh, mm. And it also tends to have some kind of level of intent behind the action. As in, she wouldn't be able to flip the pages unless she opened it, right? She did this on purpose. It was the purpose of opening it so that she can read it. But it doesn't have a cause and effect relationship. It, it just means she was like, I'm going to open this book. You know, there's intent behind the action. So if it was like, Hirogeto, Hirogeto, then it'd be more like, suddenly she, she would be more. It'd be more.、Hmm. But、um, yeah, so right here, since step form, it just means she was like, I'm going to read the book. So she opens the book.、Um, and then we describe herself with me right here. This is the way in which she is turning the pages, which is Tanoshi Soul. We have Tanoshi plus Soul. What is that telling us? So, in a very enjoyable way. Yes. However, do we know for sure if she's having fun? Um, Tanoshi Soul. So it seems like she's having fun. Yeah, it seems like Jack doesn't want to make any conclusions. <laughs> Hi. So over here is now with me 
actually explaining how this works. So if a clause ends with te, then it's clause. It basically means you do this with purpose. So if it was morie itte kaiju o sagashimashita. What do you think this means? Morie itte. Hmm. Kaiju o kaiju. Kaiju. It's like a monster. Yes. So the monster. So the subject is not monster because we have o right here. So the subject could be mm -hmm. Jack, for example. Jack wa morie itte kaiju o sagashimashita. However, this is almost more something Annie would do, probably. So Annie was in the forest. Mm -hmm. Itte. So iku means to go. Yep. So Annie went to the forest and she sagasued for a kaiju. You know what sagasu means? Like imagine? Sagasu means to search for. Mm. So this says Annie went to the forest and searched for a monster. And you can see she didn't just happen to be in a forest. It kind of has a level of a tent that she's like, I'm going to go look for a monster today. Step one, I'm going to go into the forest and then I'm going to look. So there's a level of intent behind this action. She didn't just teleport in there. Someone else didn't pick her up and throw her in the forest. She was like, okay, I'm going to go to the forest and then I'm going to go look for the monster. So it's kind of more mm. like step by step. So... Here's a sentence I would like you to make, which is, I put my bag down and open the book, which we have ryukku, which means um, bag, oku, do you know what that means? Oku is to put. Yep. Hon and hiraku. Hiraku means what? Hiraku. Uh, to open. Yep. So we have open, put, and that. Do you know what the te form of oku is? Uh, oku. Oite? Yep, oite. Perfect. Now you have all the pieces. How would you say I put my bag down and opened a book? Mm -mm. So, ryoku o oite. Eh. Hon uh, no hiraku. Hon no hiraku? Ah, hon o hiraku. Yes. Oh, sorry, he. Hiraku. No, o is right. It would okay. be to open in the direction of, which um, if, if you had like a special door that could open inward or outward, like if both were okay, you could use e with like going inward or outward. But yeah, o just means to open up your book. So yeah, perfect. Oop. Here is the sentence for you to read. Jack mo senaka no ryoku o kani oite kyoryozu kan o hiraite imita. So right here we have ni showing up rather than just ryuku o Oite, we have ni yuka. How do you think that changed it from backpack, put down the backpack? We added ni yuka to it. What do you think that means? Yuka. So, changes the direction it was put down? Yes, it does. It tells us where it was put down. You know what yuka means? We have a roof and then wood. Roof and then wood. So ceiling? Close. It's actually the opposite. It means flooring. Ah. Uh -huh. So he put his backpack down on the floor, which you could probably guess it wasn't ceiling because how is he going to put the backpack on the ceiling? Got some yeah. full Spider Man stuff going down. Okay. Um, where was the backpack located before he put it on the ground? Uh, Senaka, so his back. Yep. So Jack puts down his backpack that was on his back onto the floor, and what does he do? 
Yep. Kyoryu zukan. This is one word. I don't know why they decide not to give us all the kanji. That's a big word. So first off is kyoryu. You know what that means? It shows up a lot in this specific story, but not in other stories. Like monster. Like big monster. Close. That's kaiju. Kyoryu is um, composed of the kanji for scary and dragon and means dinosaur. Mm. And do you know what zukan means? Zukan. Oh, that sounds super familiar. Zukan. So zukan is like a hon, if you know that word, which is a picture book. Mm -hmm. But specifically, it's an encyclopedia picture book. So it doesn't have a story in it. It just has lots of pictures of dinosaurs and like little text boxes that be like, this dinosaur's name is T-Rex. Mm. That's what yep. that is. They're very popular in Japan. Um, but they're also popular in the U.S. I've definitely seen people have them. Um, so here's our next sentence to read. Shiori no hasande aru. Perfect. So, um, Chiori no Sande Aru. Do you remember what that means? We saw this exact same sentence, but rather than no, it had a ga here. You know what this means? Chiori ga Sande Aru. Uh -uh. It's like a bookmark hasande aru between pages. Yep, a bookmark between the pages. Do you vaguely remember why there's a no here rather than a ga? It has to do with the fact page is over here. So the no is referring to the page somehow. It's not actually referring to the page. Um, is this because it can be confusing to know what the topic of a sentence is. If this was like a longer sentence, like, um, like, uh, Jaku ga, blah, 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 blah. And then you had Shiori ga hasande aru, um, peji. Like, if you had two gas, for example, it can get a little confusing. Um, so because this whole thing right here is describing the page. This is called a relative clause. They turn this ga into a no. It's just for the sake of readability and understandability. They're like, it's too confusing with ga, so no is good enough, basically. No kind of conveys mm -hmm. that we're still connecting this item to the verb. Yep. Awesome. So on the page where the bookmark was sitting in between, Something was noteta. What does noteta mean? Noteta. I don't know. So, like do you resting? know what it is? Uh, what? Uh, I was like resting. Resting. Close. Um, it says like, in this case, note doesn't mean that. Um, but e means drawing. Right? Picture. Mm -hmm. And pictures are noteru. That's just um, toru means to take a picture, but noteru means to be depicted. So something is depicted as a piece of art, and that thing was a yokoryu known as puttera no don. Do you know what a yokoryu is? Yokoryu is a flying dinosaur. Yep. Exactly, and it's compared to the kanji for wing and dragon. So a winged dragon, of course, is not a dragon, but a flying dinosaur. So yeah, all together, what does this say? Um, all together is so a bookmark between pages. Um, so the, the subject is kind of the page. So the page where a bookmark was in between. A page where a bookmark was in between. 
uh, depicted a a pterodon dinosaur. Exactly. So you see right here we have ga right here. If there's ga over here, it'd be confusing. There'd be two ga's in the sentence, right? Yeah. So even this right here is a perfect example of too many ga's. So turn turn that one into no. <laughs> okay. So to has many uses. Um, a very common is like some kind of form of quotation. And off of that quotation toe, there is sound effect toll, basically, where, where we get something that sounds like a sound effect, like you, you, or uttori. That can also have its own meaning. Uh, we add to, and it means it modifies the verb. So tobu, do you know what that means from tobimas, tobu? Tobu is to fly. Yep. So the way, if you flew in a you, you kind of way, how, how do you think leisurely would affect flying? Do you Excellent. think it'd be flapping a lot, gliding? How would you describe a you, you kind of flight? Um, a very subtle, not much sound happening. Mm, probably not a lot of casual sound. Casual flight. It's basically the opposite of a hummingbird. If you know how hummingbirds fly, they have yeah. their little wings. They're like they're like that'd be the opposite. So I would say it's kind of like um, if the wings are just out and it's gliding mostly, with a couple of flaps every once in a while would be a UU kind of flight. Um, next is komori. What what animal is a komori? Do you think? A bat. Nice. Now, komori have these things called tsubasa or hane. Do you know what that means? Tsubasa is um, wings, right? Yes, and so is hane. For our purposes, there's no difference. Um, there is a difference between these, but um, it's like it depends on the animal you're talking about, basically. And a lot of times it's also interchangeable. Okay, and it's been a little bit, but yona is used to um, describe similar things. For example, okami no yona o ayakashi means this is a yokai, a monster basically, mm -hmm. that looks like a wolf. But it's not actually a wolf because wolves are their own thing, right? They're not monsters. Wolves are wolves, they're animals. So yona can be used when we're talking about something that is not totally true. So how would you say wings like the wings of a bat? Um, you, you can use the, just use a different one, but it doesn't matter which. Wings, like the wings of a bat. So, um, hane yo na tsubasa. No, uh, komori. So this right here says um, a bat of wings, a bat of wings that looks like wings. <laughs> so, so, sounds a little weird. Huh, a bat of wings that looks like wings. How how do you think you'd move things around so that this would make sense? <laughs> so probably um Ubasa no you na hane no body. You did the same mistake. This has the same meaning so as the like last swim. one. Which is a bat of oh. wings that looks like wings. So I just changed the wings, basically. Yeah, you just swapped wings. <laughs> we have to move komori. Mm -hmm. Komori no tsubasa. Uh, kobasa. Oh, no, I already said that. Tsubasa. Tsubasa. Komori no tsubasa? Komori no... Yeah, tsubasa. Yep. That part's uh, right. Yona hane. Thank. Yes. 
just need a little no here. Yep, komori no tsubasa no yona hane is wings that look like wings of a bat. Nice. Boop. Okay, here is the sentence for you to read. Komori no hana no yona tsubasa o ukiku hirokete sora o sora o yu yu to tonde iru. So, first off, komori no hana no yona tsubasa. What does that mean? Komori no hana no yona tsubasa. So, the wings of a bat look like a tsubasa, look like a wing. The opposite. So, they're wings that look like the wings of a bat. So, do you vaguely remember mm -hmm. what animal we're talking about? It was a yokuryu. Ah, yokuryu. Yokuryu. We 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 did um. So kobot. So this is what we're talking. We're talking about the yokuryu, which is the flying dinosaur, and that it has tsubasa, right? It has wings, and its wings do not look like the wings of a bird, because this uh, this book is twenty years old. Instead, it looks like the wings of a bat. Komori no hana. Right. Yep. So it looks more like this than feathery. Now, what did the putradon do with its wings? Hirokete. So it spread them. Yep. Spread them wide. Spread them wide. And then it tobu'd, right? In what kind of way did it tobu? A yuyu. So a yep. common subtle matter. Yeah, pretty leisurely. Probably was gliding. So the bats were spread out wide, were large, spread out wide, and they glide and it glided in the sky using those um, wings. Okay. Do you know what a yubi means? This is an example of a ta. Yubi, so your fingers. Yes. How about nazoru? Nazoru is to trace. Yes. Uh, how about au? It's to meet someone. What particle does au get? So it'd be something. Au gets a particle. Yeah. So no. So, so um, not not after au, but um, it goes like for example, if you want to meet your friend, so we got tomo dachi, tomo dachi particle au. Tomo dachi can you use o. So you can't use oh, see that's why it makes it tricky. Ao actually takes ni. So that tomodachi ni ao. Because you go over to meet your friends. And lastly, dori. What does dori mean, do you think? Dori. So dori is a weird word. In that um, it means like absent mindedly, but in like you only have one thing on your brain. So there's no thoughts, but you're you're very. It's like hyper focus, basically. Hi hyper focus, mm -hmm. but no yeah. thoughts. Okay, and here's a sentence for you to read. Uh, cats. Yeah. Yeah. Dozen ani ga. Ah, hine o ageta. Is this a small two here? It is a big one. So, Totsuzen. Yep. Yeah! Totsuzen. And he got Hime o Ageta. What does this mean? Hmm. So, Ani Totsuzen. Well, Totsuzen. Is a time phrase. Do you think it was quickly or slowly? Totsuzen. Or suddenly so, or obviously? Suddenly. Yes. Totsuzen. Suddenly. Ani. Hime o ageta. What does hime mean? Hime. Hime. Or hime, sorry. Yeah, hime. Sama. 
Agita. Ignore Agita for now. It can, in this case, Agita is a word that is basically just kind of turning hime into a verb, like hime suru, but instead they say hime o Agita because Agita is kind of sinewing loudness. So is hime like thoughts? Actually, hime means scream. The kya was a hime. Uh, okay. And the, the kanji is this, in case you're wondering, which comes from kanashi, sad, and naku, which is to cry, like an animal cry. <laughs> hime, scream. So Annie lets out, suddenly Annie lets out a scream. Kya! Um, so here's another little grammar thing. If you see mitai, and in front of it is a te, it's very important. This only happens if there's a te in front of it. Then this means you want to try something. For example, can you read the sentence for me? Um, itsuka nihon ni itte mitai. What does this mean? So you want to meet a... No, never mind. Um, itsuka nihon ni itte mitai. Mm. So when... Close. So itsu means when, and then we added ka to mean someday. Someday. Someday you want to... You know, iku? So itte doesn't mean be, uh, meet. Iku means um, to go. So this is to go to Nihon or Nippon, if that might help. Nippon. Nippon. So Japan. Someday yep. I want to go to Japan or visit yep. Japan. Yep, one day I, I wish to go to Japan. So pretty easy. You just need to have it in te form and add mitai to it. Um, so how would you say, I wish I could meet a dinosaur? We have au right here. What's the te form of au? Mm, that's tricky. Ao, Aoite. That's a good guess, but it's actually just atte. Atte. Hmm. Okay. Nice. So, how would you say, I wish I could meet a dinosaur? I wish I could meet a dinosaur. So, showed you, showed you. Uh, what's the word? Uh, ni nice. mitai. Now, aute is not te form of au. What do we do? Au. So, aute. Yes, aute. Aute. Teeny tiny tsu. Aute. 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 Yep. I wish I could see a dinosaur. Dangerous thoughts. Okay. Here's this sentence for you to read. Yep, tsubuyaita. So tsubuyaku is the verb tsubuya, tsubuyaku, and has this kanji which has kuchi in it. What do you think tsubuyaku means? Tsubuyaku. Interesting. So let's. So it's some kind of form of talking. Do you think it means to yell or to mutter? To be yaku. Um, to, I don't think it's to mutter, so to yell? It, it means to mutter. To be yaku. It's to be yaku, to mutter. So the next line you're gonna read in a little bit is him muttering under his breath. He's not talking to Annie. He's being very utori. And do you know what utori meant? Utori. Um, no, 
So if, a better word might be spellbound. He's spellbounded by the hon this net, by the picture of the putera no don. So all in his brain is just putera don, putera don, putera don, but there's no real like thinking going on. Just wow. Absolutely. Yep. Spellbound. What does he do while he is muttering? Uh, so she is pointing. It's pointing. So you be dead means with his finger. He nazorus. And he nazorus the tsubasa of the of a putradon oh, wow. picture. Oh. It's just like pointing at it. Well, pointing. Almost. Nazorus means to trace. Remember to. Oh, to trace. Right. So his hand is kind of following the shape of the tsubasa. Now, what does he mutter under his breath? Ah, uh, so both the ah here and the na are both vocal sighs. Ah, na. So they don't really convey much meaning in here other than showing that he's tsubuyakuing, right? So what does honmono no putrada ni atemitai mean? Uh, no. So he wants to meet the dinosaur from the book. Yes, he wants to meet a real dinosaur. Nice. Um, so you can add e or do at the end of verbs in order to make it into a order. This is a kind of like rude order. So don't use this with friends, but use it with family. So, so or if it's an emergency and you're yelling at someone, like, hashire means run, or um, kipushiro, which is skip. So how, um, so what happens with this is that you add e to verbs like, um, Hashirimasu, hashirimasu. You know, this right here is hashiru. So this right here is an example of an u verb, right? Hashiru. Yep. Um, well, do is what happens, for example, taberu becomes tabemasu. That's an example of a uh, do verb. So for this right here becomes tabero. Tabero. So do turns into do, but uh, the do verbs become do, and the other ones become e. So yomu, what does yomu turn into? So yome? Yep, yome, perfect. Boop. Okay, so this is a sentence. So first off, um, we have Jack talking. What did Jack say? Do you know what that means? Do uh, so it's like yeah. why? Yep, doshite is what it is. So doshita means what's wrong? Doshita. Why did you scream? Doshita. What happened? Why why do you scream? And Annie responds with Kaiju ga. What does that mean? Kaiju ga. Kaiju. So what's drop down was Iru. Oh.
Hello. Hello. <laughs> yeah, I pressed the power button by accident. <laughs> Hi. So, what does kaiju mean? Kaiju is a monster. Yep, then it goes kaiju ga. What is, so that's the, it's a monster. Uh, and rather than saying it, they say ga for there. Kaiju ga do. Um, and then Jack responds with this. Mataka i kagen ni shiro. So we have shiro right here with a do. What does that make this? It's an order. Yeah, so he's ordering her to ikagen. Do you have any idea what that might mean? I don't think I've taught it to you. So like, don't do that again, kind yes. of. Yes, it does mean that. Ikagen ni shiro means stop fooling about, basically. Rather than ordering her to stop doing that specific action, it just means like your behavior in general should ikagen. How about mataka? What does that mean? Mataka. Mataka is again. Yep. Well, again. Stop that. Stop messing around. And what does Annie respond with? Uh, uso janai. Uso janai. Honto ni kaijo ga itta no yo. So, it's, it's not a lie. Yep. It's true. Yep. So it really is a dinosaur. So that's Kyoryu. Kyoryu is dinosaur. Kaiju just means big unidentified monster. So Annie is not a fan of Kyoryu Zukan, so she doesn't know the large animal she's looking at is a kyoryu rather than a kaiju. Whew, this is what they see. Ah, kyoryu! Um, here's some words. You know what kyodai means? Not kyodai, like... Kyodai. <laughs> like brother? Or That's kyodai. So kyodai law. Kyodai is siblings, like brother. But this is short. It's kyodai. Kyo, kyodai. So, okay. Kyodai, and has different um, kanji, like this kanji, which is a very common and important kanji if you ever go to Japan. So, just like relatively big? Yes. Kyodai actually means huge. So it's not relatively big. Oki, Oki is relatively big. Um, so... So this right here is chisai. So if there was any kanji that you had to learn before going to Japan, it'd be oki and chisai. Super important. Interesting. Uh, big or small, huge. Um, next is yokogiru. Yokogiru. And it's a so verb. It is two. And it's a verb, so don't say a noun. Uh, so it means to cross, like to cross the street. Cross. Yokogiru. And the kanji here is pretty interesting. Yoko means horizontal, and kiru means to cut, like with scissors. Kiru and yoko. So the cut horizontally is to cross. Yokogiru. Next is kuchibashi. Kuchibashi. So, beaks. Yep, beaks. And beaks, togaru. What do you think togaru means? Togaru. Um, hmm. Not sure. It means to poke out. So it's one of those words that's like feels like not a verb in English, but I guess it is a verb. Togaru okay. means to poke out. So beaks, kuchibashi, will poke out from the face. Or that's not really sharp enough, but this kind of pokes out. Okay. Um, let's start with this sentence. 
あその時、兄弟な着物が窓の外をよく来た。そのとき、バッダン、キョーダイナ、キーマノガ、あ、huge thing。Yes, specifically a thing that is alive. Definitely wasn't a rock. イキミツライフ Yeah, イキミツライフ。From イキル。イキル is the verb. イキル。It has the same kanji of ウマル。A word that sounds like umaru, which means to give birth. Umaru. Umaru. Yeah. Umaru. Yeah. To be born. See, same, same kanji. That word there is u. And the other one is i. So, ikiru means to live. So, ikimono means a living thing. You might hear yourself since I have to charge my headset real quick. Me?、Uh, yep. Oh no. <laughs> That's good.、Uh, well, <laughs> should be fine. Ikimono, probably just something with loose for a second.、Uh, what does Mado no Soto Yoko Gita mean? So, Mado no Soto. Outside the window. Yes. And then we have a ikimono ga yoko gita. So ikimono ga yoko 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 gita.、Um, ikimono. So a thing that's alive. Yoko ta. Yoko is horizontal. It、so、is horizontal. What's gita or gita?、Uh, gita. Means I'm、oh, um, cut. Kiru, like ita. Yep. yep. To cross. Yep. So horizontal cut means. To cross, right?、Mm -hmm. Nice. So the monster crosses what? The monster crosses.、Uh, what does it cross? Outside the window. Exactly.、So. Crosses outside the window. Perfect. And next is these two lines.、Uh, kuchi, kuchi? Yeah. Yep. Kuchi bashi ni some kanji, like goku,、oh. aku, naka, ah, naga, nagaku, togata, toseka, tosaka. Yep, tosaka. Ukina. Komori no Hana no Yuna Tsubasa. Yep. So Tosaka is referring to a crack. The English word is crack, but it means this area of a rooster. And that area is Togata. Togasa. You know what, so do you know what Togata means? Togaru. Togaru. Togasa. Is it like the crown? So, the Tosaka means crown, but Togata means to poke out. To poke out.、Mm. Then we have、um, Nagaku. Now we have Ku here rather than E. Does this Ku mean that we're describing the Togata or the Tosaka? What is long? Interesting. It is the Tosaka. It's actually the togata. So it's saying it's poking out long rather than saying、ah. it itself is long. That's why there's a ku here. Well, over here we have nagai kuchibashi. Nagai kuchibashi. We're describing、so、the long... kuchibashi. Yep, a long what? Beak. Exactly.、Kuchibashi. So there's a long beak. And、um, a crest that protrudes out for quite a distance.、Um, next, we're describing the tsubasa as oki. Oki na tsubasa. 
What does that mean? Oki no tsubasa. So a long tsubasa. A long beak. Tsubasa means wings. Wings. So big wings that happen to komori no hana no yo. What does that part mean? Komori no hana no yo. Komori no hana no. And hmm. Kumari. Kumari. It, it, it is wings of a bat. Yes. So are these big wings of a bat or are we just talking about something else? Itsubasa. Tsubasa. So, no, yuna, tsubasa. So the wings of the wings of the bat. Yes. So specifically, it's, it's saying wings like the wings of a bat. Which you might oh, have like. said, yes, like. Yona is used when you're saying similar to something. So this ikimono is most likely not a komori. That's what that's telling us. That this ikimono is probably not a komori. But its wings are like a komori. But it's probably not a komori. And we know these wings are big. Okay. <laughs> and right here is Jack talking out loud. What does Jack say? Uh, ha, hon mono no putera don. It's like, ha. Ho, 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 hon mono no putera don. The first thing's a stutter. Hon. <laughs> so it really is a putera don. Wow, a, a, a real putera don? Um, okay. I have two words here. Which one means above? Uh, ue. Yes. Boop. Um, this is just a little double checking. Do you know what happens if we have te form in the middle of a sentence? Like with the, with the comma, we got one sentence and then we have our second sentence. Mm -hmm. Like first and second. Kind of, yeah. It, it also kind of insinuates that there's some kind of motive behind their actions. There was some kangaidu going on. Um, mm. So here is our first um, line. Jack uh, is. Eh, hondo. Hondo. Mado. Hondo. Hey. Mado. Mado. Right. Mado. Eh. Ah, kakeyote soto o mita. I think. Yep. Good job. So first off, so, madoe kakeyota. What does that mean? Kakeyoru. Kakeyote. So the window was opened, like kakeyote. So that's a interesting guess. Um, akeru means to open, but kakeyoru is an action that Jack did. Jack kakeyoru's toward the mado. So and he, he... <laughs> was not open, so like closed, shut. I'm not sure about that. One. So kake yoru means to kake means to rush, and yoru means to get close. So to rush up to the window. So Jack rushes up to the window. And he soto mitad. Soto mitad. So he looked outside. Yep. So before he wasn't close enough to the window to look outside. So he had to rush over to look in it. So there's a reason why he rushed to the window. And it's because he wanted to see the ikimono that crossed over the window, right? There was a reason why he did that action. Um, next is this sentence. Potera don ga. Fukoke. Oh no. Frog kick. Yep. Frog kick no mori no ue o tondeiru. Tondeiru. Um, so Frog Creek. The forest of Frog Creek. Oh, the pterodon was above the forest of Frog Creek. And what was it? 
Tonderu. Yep, it was tonderuing. Do you know what that means? Tobu. Tonderuing. Oh, so it's like flying, but yep. I guess this means gliding. Well, it, we, we know he's gliding because he's doing it in a UU kind of way. We were told that earlier. <laughs> but yep, so he is gliding above the frog, the forest of Frog Creek. And this is where we'll be stopping for the day. Boop. Yep. Nice. So I'll stop the recording.